My name is Ronnie Stockholm. We have Indian Springs Camp here. We established it for underprivileged kids. We started working with Boys Haven and Buckner's Children's Village for a number of years. In fact, we still do on occasions. We wanted to give them a little back to nature type atmosphere. Had that in mind when we established this. I've got, got with a guy by the name of Marshall Cooper with Boys Haven. He was the CEO of Boys Haven and we made these programs together. It kind of grew from that point on into, with the help of the game wardens, taking these, these kids, the underprivileged kids, squirrel hunting. And we did that for a number of years and then happened to be one of the fathers of one of those boys was a disabled veteran. And they contacted me and wanted to know if we could put anything together for the veterans that was in wheelchairs and take them hunting or take them fishing. And we were not ADA, we had no inclination of what we were doing. Um, I met with them several times. We went to the um, county commissioners, the county judge, talked to them about it, and finally worked out some things where the uh, commissioners furnished the material, uh, the, the sheriff had, had the uh, prisoners make the uh, uh, stands for us. And along with some scouts, along with those prisoners, along with my volunteers back in those days, we kind of developed this into a hunting scenario. We not only kept the Boys Haven and Buckner's kids out, but we started working with the disabled veterans and bringing them out, taking them deer hunting. And uh, that was kind of became a mission of ours. And while we were doing that, um, it expanded again to getting some of the, their kids, special needs kids, I should say, and bringing them out here too. So all of this is just kind of mushroomed into what we do today. We, uh, we bring them out here. We're going to have a big hunt coming out here with the PVA, which is the Paralyzed Veterans Association, the Texas chapter. And we're going to be taking them hunting, taking them deer hunting. Uh, we'll do that two or three times a year. And then in the meantime, we'll just take independent kids or, or, or uh, veterans out if they want to come, disabled veterans, I should say. And the same way with kids, we'll have one big kids hunt and then we'll have, we're, we're very family oriented. So we want the families to come out with us. Uh, back in April, when we had uh, um, the uh, April and May, what we call the April and May flood, our, our biggest asset down there is our lake and it's in the, what we call the creek bottom. And we're on North uh, Village Creek, it's my north boundary, so you can imagine how high the water came up and, and how much of a flow we had through there. 80% of what we had down there got washed away or torn up in one way or the other. And we were in the process of almost getting to where we were ADA friendly. And then the floods hit us. So we're kind of back to square one repairing all of those, although we've been back here doing this just about every day, cutting trees, trees that have died, trees that have blown over, uh, trying to salvage what we could salvage, what we could find that washed away out in the woods. And that's kind of where we are right now. We're in that process of rebuilding what we lost and uh, trying to get back to where we used to be, where a veteran or a family with a special needs kids can come out and they don't need us to carry them around. They can go anywhere they would want to go barrier free. We're looking for some of the younger generation to come out maybe and spend a day with us to, to give us a little assistance. Whatever, that, whatever their talent is, we can probably use yeah. it. So if you're out there and you see this, uh, if you see this video and would like to help, all you've got to do is call me at 409-781-3074 and we'll be more than glad to talk to you, visit with you, bring you out here and show you what we've got, show you where your, your talent may be uh, um, needed. And even if you don't have any talents, we can make a talent out of you. So anything that you possibly can do, if you want to spend the day out here with us or a few hours out here with us, we can certainly, we can certainly meet, uh, meet that need.